Hey everyone, hope you've been keeping well. This one, I think I'm gonna make it about escapism, but like escapism part two. Because I've talked about escapism before and the more I continue observing people's interactions social interactions and, and even just the just the plain media that they consume the only the only way i can describe modern culture now is this cognitive dissonance like i've been seeing kanye west spiraling over the past few weeks and i've just been one i've been wanting to make a video on it so bad because I think I've reached like stage three of grief, which is what is, is it like bargaining? I think in terms of what Kanye has become, because his music, even his personality, to be honest, have affected so much of my, my current way of thought, let me say. And it's weird how somebody you don't even know can have this much of an effect on you. It's so weird. <clears throat> you know, you could say it's a brilliant marketing team. It's a brilliant, you know, somebody who knows how to get to that target demographic, you name it. Even so, I don't think I've ever really called myself a fan of anyone and even if i saw one of my favorite artists in person like let's say if i saw them like shopping or something i wouldn't be like oh my gosh that's fucking kanye or like you know if i saw them by myself maybe if i saw them in a group the other people in the group hopefully would react more and then i'd be like oh yeah like i i can't bring myself to um stroke someone else's ego let me say that right I can't deny that, like, even so, they've had such a huge impact on me. And it's so strange to me how all Kanye has to do is, is um, invoke being bipolar and losing his mom, and he'll have millions of his fucking, like, cult followers defending all of his bullshit. And it's really hard for me to accept because he's always been like that. I think it's just because I've grown up with his music, especially as a child, and relating to it so much, not realizing that he's just always been an asshole. He's always been an asshole. Funny thing, assholes get to the top here though. So really, why are we shocked? Why is it shocking? I mean, look at fucking Elon Musk after after preaching and crying and bitching about freedom of speech and he's gonna save freedom of speech and, and, and civiliza Western civilization. He's banned like how many P accounts just because they make negative articles about him or they just, or he doesn't like them. That's pretty much about it. Like they're not even spreading any sort of information or whatever. He actually shockingly supports so many far right wing accounts um, uh, on Twitter, but he's banned so many like just anti Elon Musk accounts. Hmm. You know, you'd think the freedom of speech guy would be in favor of having anti Elon Musk accounts, but somehow it's just another fucking ego game. Shock, right? And to me, it's always this sentiment of, you know, let's separate the art from the artist. Right? So we can keep enjoying all the, the, the content he's making, all the music, all the you know films, whatever, without, having, without ever having to reconcile with the fact that he's just a piece of shit, you know? I personally cannot listen to R. Kelly anymore. I haven't been able to 
I haven't been able to for a long time because even when I was like, when I was like 10 years old, I think that's when that video of him like urinating on the minor was circulating. I was 10 years old and I knew R. Kelly was a piece of shit. And you'll still find people who are like, oh, you know, just separate the art from the artist. You know, maybe an argument can be entertained in that sense, right? Maybe if you're talking about it from an artistic perspective. And I'm personally, uh, like I've studied music. I can play, I can play the piano when I actually like put my mind to it, but I haven't done it in so long. But even then, you know, it, it's something, once you've been involved in music in some capacity, you know, you have to ask, does your art reflect you? Is it, it, it is part of you. You created it. What the fuck? Yes. But people interacting with it and people interacting with you, is it the same thing? You know, if, if they're paying for your art, is it, are they supporting you? Are they supporting themselves? No matter what you do? Because what gets me is, you know, Kanye can invoke these sob stories, have people pity him, but average everyday people don't get to just be like, you know, me dealing with my bipolar disorder made me, you know, say I love Hitler, right? Normal people don't get that excuse. They don't get that break. They don't get that like way out. You know? And it really got me thinking just how much of the art, the music that I consume, have I separated it from, you know, reality, let alone the artist, you know? And what does it even mean in that sense? It's like, it's sort of like escapism within escapism. And maybe I think too deeply about this stuff, but how, um, you know, to what extent as consumers are you really responsible for uh, the things you consume? You know, if you're doing it out of your own intentions to do so, or just doing it to follow a trend, or, you know, you're just doing it because it's a compulsive habit, how responsible are you? Because if I meet somebody and they tell me that they're an R. Kelly fan, without even having to listen to why they're an R. Kelly fan, I can already be like, you're a piece of shit. I'll, I'd already just say you're a piece of shit. I don't care how you rationalize how uh, his music is. Like, and again, you know, growing up in the 90s, R. Kelly, like, I still, one of my earliest memories is watching Space Jam. His song is such a memorable part of that movie and i i could watch it now and still relive those feelings but at the same time i'm like even at that time r kelly was being a fucking pedo even at that time when space jam was being put out and i'm not trying to equate kanye west to r kelly that's pretty fucked up and there's you know obviously there's no evidence of that at all and i'm not trying to put that on him but at the same time you know getting to to this guy has such such disgusting things about jewish people and you know the fact that he still gets so much media attention from it means he's still winning he burnt his deal with what was it adidas he burnt his deal to the ground himself himself because these companies just care about their profits they care about the bottom line and if you even if you're the main uh, uh um one of their main income producers they don't care they'll find another one but if you're going to cost them way more than it is to hold on to you then they're going to burn the deal like this is just the epitome of this system will never give you everything you want they will never give you the things that you want it always comes at you know if you're somebody who's chasing wealth and chasing prosperity 
fine. Once you get it, you'll have to chase other things because you're not going to be able to keep chasing wealth and prosperity. You just, you just, you're basically going to be constantly hitting a dead end and nothing will ever be enough. You know, I've brought up Elon, you know, Elon Musk, Kanye West, R. Kelly, all these people for different reasons are the epitome of why wealth and fame is a fucking trap and a lie. No matter how you think you're going to outsmart this reality, it always throws something Something new, something different. And if you're power hungry, you will never be at rest. And, you know, I'm, I, I'd be lying if I said I don't listen to any Kanye West music. I listen to some, he's just been involved in so much music that I listen to. And, this is really the first time I've sat down to really, to, to analyze the things he said. The things he said have gotten so many people persecuted and killed over the centuries. And, you know, for this enlightened generation to keep repeating things that we know have done nothing but spread horror We're really, you know, we're really pretending to go forward. And we're just digging. It's like we're digging ourselves further down and then backwards. We're not even walking forwards. We're not even crawling forwards. And the fucked up thing is, these are always the things that go viral. It's always the controversial things. It's never, you know... It's never things that inform people. It's never things that really bring facts to people's life, to, to, to people's uh, views. Because nowadays, I even tell my friends just, you know, instead of always going through these pregnancy scares, get a vasectomy, please. It's somewhat reversible within the first 10 years. Like, the sooner you get it reversed, the better. But it's 99% effective. And I really believe that birth control pills, like, you know, hormone, hormonal, um, it's not even a, I believe, like, it's just a fact, like, plan B pills are terrible for women. They're fucking terrible. Like, they're even, to some degree, causing even, infert like, fertility issues. Like, whose idea was it, honestly? Whose idea was it to come up with birth control pills? They're just not really the thing. They're just not it. They're not great at all. And I'm going to make another video concerning this topic because I have quite a bit to say about it. And it just relates to how, you know, we're being, we're being told, we're being... We're, we're being presented, especially in the media, especially if you just interact with people. You're being presented such a, uh, the, the, you know, the, the lifestyle, the, the ideal lifestyle right now is basically getting drunk and having sex. Getting, uh, uh, just doing drugs at a social event and then having sex and then repeating that. And... You know, like I said before, I'm not really even bothered about, you know, people doing like Do it. Fucking do it. Right? Do the drugs. Have the sex. Okay? Like, I, I, would, hope, I would like to believe that, you know, I've never portrayed being a prude on this channel. Like, maybe I might say some prudish things once in a while, but I guess that's just my opinion at that time. You know, when I look back, you know, I probably feel a different way. What people do to escape here... I don't, I, I can never judge that. I can't. But at the same time, it's really not that they're escaping. They're, they're escaping it. 
And the worst part is, is that's what they're handing down to the children. That's what our generation, the, the, the millennial, millennial generation started this escapism thing. Because we were all born into a fucked up economy, like fucked up global economy at that, by the way. We still haven't even, we, we've gotten back on our feet from the 2008 recession. And I think we had like two more since then or something. They just didn't, they just didn't broadcast it a lot more because, you know, it, it would have caused panic again. Had COVID, I'm pretty sure there was a recession, a recession during COVID as well, right? Of course, we're going to fucking be into escapism. Of, like, whatever the case, whatever the, the, however the escapism comes, of course, we're going to be fucking into it. But what happens when the things that you're escaping, what happens when your escapism isn't even, a, it, it's never really an escape that you, you, you can prolong. You know, how long can you say, you know, I escaped and now I'm back again, right? What, what period of time or, or how, what mind space do you have to be in to be like, yeah, you know, I escaped. I escaped well. Because me personally, I, I think escapism is a way of life for me, especially when it comes to music. Like I'm always, when I wake up, I'm listening to music. When I go to sleep, I'm, I'm listening to music. When I'm, when I'm just bored, I listen to music, all kinds of music. And I love listening to music where the artists in real life are people who, you know, they're not dickheads, I guess. Like, personally, you, for me to cancel you as an artist, for me to, like, not want to listen to you as an artist, you'd have to do things bordering R. Kelly and Kanye West. I, I think that's, that's a high enough bar for cancelling. I don't believe in cancelling people for, like, bullshit reasons, honestly, you know? Unless they've assaulted someone, of course. Or, you know, if they've caused harm to people... If they've caused direct harm to people, then yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. But like, you know, the other reasons why people get cancelled, I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe, you know, the, certain artists don't even have to get to the extent of separating the art from that because they didn't actually do anything worth fucking um, separating it from, you know. This topic only comes up when the artist is like, perceived as really good but then they've also some done some egregiously fucked up shit and it's always shit to somebody else it's always something to another person you know it's not like they've just stolen a lot of money or you know just done shady shit like that no it always has to be like you know spreading like the level of hate that Kanye West has spread. Sp like, this guy actually said out of his mouth, he wants, like, Jew a Jewish child to go up to their parents. He, because of him, right? Because of his efforts to, to ask his parents, Daddy, what did we do wrong? He wants a Jewish child to say that. And he's saying this as a black man. He's fucking saying this as a black man. As, after all the fucking... After all the things he said in his music, always talking about how gun crime in Chicago is terrible. After, you know, saying George Bush doesn't like black people. This guy said he wants a Jewish child to go up to his parents and ask them what we did wrong. And if you don't see a problem with that, and if you, you think that, you know, you can just separate the art from the artist, that's on you. I think you're just a bigger piece of shit than Kanye even is in that case you can do it go ahead i don't have to I, i'm not going to pretend to co-sign it it's so crazy how this place really leaves you with such few options to to to, to even enjoy your fucking stay here you know <laughs> or even your you, you know your, your your prison sentence your your sentence here you have such few options that don't involve mass fucking bullshit and exploitation and just, just 
you know, spreading of mind viruses, basically. It's really sad to see, to be honest. <laughs>